Hello there, I am Giant Cold with more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we finally made it all the way back to Mobville, and we went to that long surfing route west or east of Duford Town. We made it here, we got, um, we battled while training this last part basically. Finished up that route, which is good. Then we made our back, way back to Mobville, and we see that Watson is outside the Pokemon Gym. Let's talk to him. And by the way, I have a night up front. Oh, Grodel, you look like you've had a lot of zip. That's good. That's a good thing. Wahaha. Fine. I've decided I need a favor, Grotel. Marvel City has an underground sector called New Marvel. Grotel, I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator has been running a bit haywire. It's getting unsafe. Here, this is the key to get into the New Marvel. Obtain the basement key. Yeah, okay. Don't worry about it. I want to... It won't be a challenge to you. The entrance to New Vaudeville is just a short surf away from Route 110. That's it, then. You have my trust, wahaha. So we have to make our way back down to that route, which isn't that far away. It's honestly right on this route. Then you go over here, and you're going to surf right here. And just to avoid wild encounters, I'm going to put a pal on you quick. Just a regular pal. You know, not super repel. If I give a pill, because I bought 10 in the last part. So there we go. We just surf around, and right here is the entrance to New Marvel. Right here. You go inside, it's locked, but you have the key. Yes, we want to use the basement key, and it opens. Nice. So, I think I remember this puzzle. So, hopefully, I do well. Um, we want to switch. We want to press this blue button right here, obviously, so we can progress. Then we don't want to switch. Let me see ahead real quick. I don't think we want to press that green button, do we? Am I wrong or am I right? We'll see in a second. You can't. Oh, you can run in here too. I forgot about that. Okay, you want to hit that green switch actually. And power off, of course. Okay, I'm gonna run out of pause by the next, but hopefully I won't. I most likely I will, but I should, you know, trust my instincts more, you know. Don't press that blue button, because then you'll. The blue gate will close, close right here, and you don't want that. Now some of these items are Voltorbs or Electrodes, and some are just regular items. This one is an escape rope, how nice. We have seven escape ropes now. I think by the end of this, we'll use one of those seven. <laughs> just, it'd be smart, because I don't want to you know, go all the way around and just, stuff like that. One of these is a Voltorb, and one of these is a item. Let's see. This one's a Paralysis Heal, and that one's a Voltorb. I think, let's, uh... I should trust my instincts and just step away from that Pokemon, from that, because it's probably going to be a Voltorb. And I don't think there's any cool items, like really cool, good items in here. So, okay, um, okay, I kind of screwed that up. I have to, um, hit, and now I have to pick up that item right there, because it's all on the blue switch, I have to step on the blue switch, the blue switch, sorry, blue, blue switch, and unlock the door that way. And we're going to put a repel on again. Because they seem to be wearing out. So this will probably be a Voltorb. I knew it. You know that Voltorb kind of just beat me up. So I'm going to use a potion on night. And I'd probably just run from the Voltorbs. Because I don't get that much experience out anyway. I give around like 357 I think. Is what I saw from that battle. Yeah. That, uh, Voltorb I just see got like, two sonic booms off my night. As you can see there. So let's, put, let's just press that boost switch and then progress, I guess. Have <laughs> that round progress, I guess. Okay, um... Well, we want to get the green switch. Let's just... Yeah, let's take, get this out. The other one will also could be, be, be a Voltorb, so I'll be avoiding it this time if I can. Without messing it up. Without messing it up, okay. And right here, as you can see, is the generator. Stomp on this thing right here, and you step on the switch, and then click. The generator will come down, and it has stopped. Oh nice, and this is also a Thunderstone, so, you know, very nice, for evolving a Pikachu, or um, for evolving an Eevee into a um, Jolteon too, stuff like that. Oh man, wait, I did I did my job right, I turned off the generating of the Thunderstone. Okay, I'm gonna use an escape rope, just so I avoid wild battles from these freaking ball toys, you know? So if I can get back to my regular items, there we go. Uh, escape rope, I have seven, I'll we'll use one, and we're out of here, guys, it's as easy as that. Yeah, there we go. 
Surf and let's hope we don't want to walk Pokemon. There we go, nice. So as we make our way back to Marvel City, we talk to Watson again. And he is right here. Wahaha! I knew I knew it, Gordle. I knew I'd made the right choice asking you. This is my thanks, a team containing Thunderbolt. Go on, you've earned it. Team 24, which is Thunderbolt, which is awesome move. I really like Thunderbolt, it's really nice. Waha! It pleases me to know and to see the young step up and take charge. Nice. And let's see what I teach I mean I put a lot of thought into who I want to teach this TM to, and I'm actually gonna try to teach it to Knight. Knight can't win it right now. That's a bummer. That's a bummer, he can't win it right now. Oh well. Um I don't remember my final moveset for Speedy though, so I don't, I'll pass right now. Um, I have to look up my notes, because I wrote down my final movesets for all my Pokemon, and I forget if um, Wainun actually uh, was having Thunderbolt. I know, I know I want to have Strength, Shadow Ball, um, Facade, and uh, it might be Thunderbolt. I'm not sure, I want to check though. So I'll do that off screen. I mean, I wrote it down. What all my final movesets would be. As we do this, we want to go east of uh, Marvel, but first, before we do, I almost forgot, we want to talk to Rydal. We're going to exchange our mock bike for an acro bike, which is nice. An acro bike. An acro bike is actually easier to control, but you can't use them on like this. I can really do the time thing with the collisions and all that, because you can control it a lot better. So you can control, I can control this thing without ease. And you can also do you can also do bunny hops. Wee, look at me go. And Marvel uh, and Watson, as you can see, I already went back to the gym because he's not there in that spot anymore. But you see, you get the gist of the Marvel or uh, the Acro Bike. I already battled these trainers, as far as I'm concerned. Ah, uh, hi Gordo, hello, this is Ethan. I battled another trainer earlier. I won, I won. My Zig is gonna look very hard for me. This is so great. Well, good for you, Ian. <laughs> Was it Ian or Ethan? I think it was Ethan. Oh look, it's Gabby and Ty. Yeah, you know what? I want Night to have full HP, so I'm gonna be a little picky and just use another potion on it. Cause it's, I, it's just bugging me that he's not the one that's full healed. He's the only one that's not full healed. Okay, but let's take on Gabby and Ty before the fisherman dude. I think that fisherman to the left that you see right there will give you the good rod. And then the uh, fish, a fisherman later on in the speech or sandy part will actually battle you. Yeah, being Ty, last time I checked, they had a, I think a Loundred and a Magneton or Magnemite. Oh, they still have a Magnemite. Okay. Nice. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try Iron Tail on the Loundred. I know it has very low accuracy, but you never know. And then flim through on the Magnemite. There we go, I fainted it, nice. Oh, it hit, yes, Iron Tail hit. How nice. Oh, so close to fainting it. It does nothing, heh. <laughs> because again, my quad resistant to it. And we'll use Headbutt and Double Kick. Could quite nice. I'll take it. Oh yeah. Interview with Gabby and Ty. Yep. That was an intense battle. Did you get all that on camera? I think it was $25.92. I heard that a really good way to, um, uh, speaking of um, <laughs> um, remember that that's the quote you gave us at the last battle clincher last time. I never ever forget stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed again? Sure. You will, thank you. Okay, I need you to be, describe your feelings about our battle, but make it short. But it has to be short and sweet. Go! <laughs> okay. Um, speech. Let's see what's in speech. A little, a lot, absolutely a tiny bit. Also, although, and any, around, as if, as much as, awfully, but, case, <laughs> but case, <laughs> enough, so, fantastic, ah, uh, so many things, um, there's so many to choose from, 
Let's do the. The. Nice. No, I wanna do- I wanna do the... Yeah, nice. Mmm, yeah, that's the perfect clincher. I've got a feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that uh, they'll air us- They'll air this on TV, so make sure to look for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Ay ay ay. Okay. I forget my train- I forgot my train, I thought. Okay. So this guy will give you a good rod. How nice. Railway's picking up, I guess. Is, is there an I'm here? Yes, it's an iron. Cool. Good guard, I checked. I'm gonna keep um, Knight to the front. Hopefully, that I won't get hit by a lot of water type attacks, but we'll see. I'm a fisherman, but also a trainer. I'm missing the Pokemon I caught. There was an um that I was talking about earlier that I forget. Let me think. Um. I was about to battle or something. Oh yeah, I was about to say the the one I looked up on YouTube. One way to get a lot of money in Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire is just use um a Pokemon that has the held item, the Amulet coin, and keep on rebattling Ty and uh, Gabby and Ty. Just fire down to the three locations like go to. One's um past um north of Marvel. One's um west or east of Fortree, and then the last one is that we talked about was right east of um. Marvel, which is where we just battled them at, and just keep on following them around and keep on using that Pokemon that has Amber Coin, because because as you saw, they give me twenty five dollars, twenty five thousand dollars plus in Poké dollars, and it double that is like you get crazy amounts of money. Then that's actually a really good way to get money, you know. Headbutt, Constrictor won't do much. I don't think. There we go. Yeah. Headbutt tag. And let's slap. No, I, I was hoping you didn't hit me with a bubble beam or a water gun or something like that. No. There we go. Carvana. Let's switch to Blaine, because um, I can use a fighting type move on. Carvana, because it's part, half dark type. Oh, it's almost level 31 too, nice. I use the double kick on it. Hopefully this does what we have on the first time. Okay, cool. Rough skin hurts, ouch. There we go. Nice. Okay, there's a secret base area, but no hit items, okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the experience share to Knight, because Knight's been having a hard time leveling up lately, I guess. At least I've noticed it. So, is the experience share. Here it is, right here. Nice. I'm going to switch to items. That way, he can still get experience without battling, though, but he'll be caught up with other guys. Let's go with, um, Blaine, I guess. Let's actually rearrange the team here. Put Knight to the bottom, I guess, because he's been in the expansion. Car's going off. Hope that's not my parents' car. Oh, here's um Stephen Stone. Hey, Girdle, or hi, Girdle. It's me, Stephen. We've met in the cave near Dufford. Have you, have you met? My any kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? I'm just kidding. I don't want to make an Texas accent or whatever. Uh, country accent. There are many, many kinds of Pokemon in this worldwide, in this wide world of ours. If you wanted to raise only one of your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. That's me. As a Pokemon, a po as a trainer of Pokemon, what do you think? Of course, it's not any of my business. It would be nice if we were to meet again somewhere. Haha, <laughs> somewhere, huh? Haha. <laughs> you know, hit I'm there. Okay, I don't have cut with me. Oh, we can still get to it, but that got to Todd. What I was gonna say before I got really interrupted there by that Ziggs again was that you can still access that area, we just have to go through a bit of tall grass. And I'm gonna use our pal right here, I guess. I mean, it's really not a grassy area, but I still don't want to run into wild encounters, you know? I'm gonna hope that I can 
win this battle. This guy's a bird keeper and I have a fighting type up front. My Blaine, my fire and fighting type. Okay, you better not have a swallow. You probably do. Yeah, you probably have a swallow and a tail as we see right here. Let's go with the flamethrower. Hopefully this is the tail. Here we go. Swole, huh? I'm gonna risk it. Let's go, Blaine. You got this. I go off to go for the quick attack. That's not the way. That's not the worst you could have done. You could have gone with the wing attack. So I'm grateful that you didn't. Especially since I just fainted you there. Nice. Nice as ice. They didn't take flight. Thanks for the eight dollars, though. I feel bad for you, though, bro. Okay, right here you can pick the citrus berries, as long as you don't jump off the ledge accidentally. Two citrus berries, nice. These heal, um, 30 HP, I think. And they can be equipped to your Pokemon, so that's awesome. No oh, hidden item there, okay. Um, all I'm gonna do is so I can just avoid that tall grass right there, even though I have a pill on. So, hey, I'm right here. So there's no hand I'm right there. But there's here's an ultra ball. Oh, I thought there was an ultra ball hyper push in my bed. I'm gonna skip that trainer for right now, but go over here. Yeah, okay. Tell us fact what okay. What's over here? Wait, this this is the music at the beginning of the game when you first start up the game, like when you talk to Professor Butch for the first time. That's awesome. I'm glad they added it to later parts in the game. No hit I am there at all, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Gosh dang it. Okay, hello Gertle, it's me, Dusty. Are you still battling hard? I think it was the Rune Maniac we saw, um, where um, one of the Reggies were located as we talked about earlier in this walk the guide. Are you still battling hard? As for me, I've lost recently, so I've been training my team all over. Let's meet again. Okay, it's a double battle, so who do I have up in my second slot? Shrooms, okay. I'll take on this double battle. Now, hopefully I can do this right away as a double battle. There we go, you did it right. You got time it, bro. My confidence will get a boost by beating someone obviously strong. <laughs> you're gonna beat me. Like, not likely, man. This is my awesome bug Pokemon. My big brother got it for me. Do you have a, do, wait, do you have like a bug Pokemon? What bug Pokemon, man? Forget Absol and Pinsir. Okay, I have a Pinsir. Okay. So I think I know again. I'm gonna use Flamethrower on the Pinsir, and I'm gonna use Mach Punch on the Absol. Absol's the dark type, too. There we go. There goes the Pinsir, hopefully, because it's super effective. We'll see. There we go, nice. One shot both of them. And good luck, third one, nice. Okay. With that said, we can actually go over here. Oh, we have another battle. I think I still have in front. They say that good times are filled with good aromas. Uh, good, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. More if I Roselia, okay. Roselia is actually as I, I said this before in this walk the garden, I believe I did. Um but Roselia's actually give off a lot of experience, especially if it's a trainer's Roselia. So keep that in mind. It's really not that hard of a Pokemon to, you know, knock out and faint. So you know. See that gave that gave around uh, over eight hundred experience points for that swallow. Or for that for that Roselia, not the swallow. Okay, gloom, we're gonna use swim on that too. Here we go. Goes the gloom. Oh, I smelled the bitter scent of misery. Oh, I'm so sorry. Th thanks for the dollars and forty forty cents though. Okay, here's a lot of berries. Um, I'm gonna just gotta pick them one by one. I go in like the middle of two of them. Two patches of them and just like turning around right away. So, so this might take a while, but I'll commentate through this. So we're picking up a lot of berries, which is pretty nice. 
This is actually a really good place where you can like plant berries too. But if you're with, like me who have the um, emerald version with the uh, eternal battery run dry where you can't do timed events anymore, you know, it's no point in like planting berries at all because they won't grow because they don't have a time clock. Which is a bummer. But you know, what are you gonna do? But if you're playing this off like an emulator that has a ROM that actually doesn't have the eternal battery run dry, or anything like that, in that case, then you'll be good. But I don't like plant berries, I just pick them, just for the heck of it. Because berries are actually useful. They like healing items. And they can be used to make Pokebox, but I don't want to use Pokebox. I don't need to use Pokebox. Now if I was, um, you actually had a Feebass on my team, the way to evolve into Milotic in this game is to raise its, uh, happiness. I think it's beauty stat. No, it was beauty stat in, um, contest-wise. Um, by using the Pokebox, um, mixer and you know, giving Pokebox to raise its beauty. Um, but yeah, I don't have to deal with that, so I don't have to deal with Pokebox either. But I might as well show that machine off when we get to that point. So, you know, just for the heck of it. But I won't be using it to my benefit though. Just sure enough, I guess. I hopefully will remember it later on, because it's quite a long way before we get to that point. But you know, and by the look, it's that, look at that, we're, we're pretty much done with picking all these berries, how nice. Now I think there's a hidden item back here. Now the thing, way to get back here is go over here and then behind the house right here. And then go up here and this hit, I hit an item, a revive, very worth picking up. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna use a, we're gonna get this item right here, an ultra ball, nice. Other items, okay. And let's see, let's organize the Pokeballs real quick. Okay, it's already organized. I was going Pokeball, Great Ball, Great Peak Ball, Dive Ball, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, so this has been then my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide part. In the next part, we'll hopefully finish up this route and hopefully get to the next part, uh, location where we can, like, where it's like the main, part of the main story, you know? So yeah, this has been Jirago again. I like the words again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.